to hear Mike Solarte Spectrum News one, where does it start with Tampa when you look at them on tape? Is it is it twelve? Is it their run game? Where does it start with them? Uh, I think it definitely starts with the run game. Uh, as good as you know Brady is and everything, and you know he pretty much runs the show on offense. You gotta account for their backs. You know they have good physical backs. You know good shifty backs, and. You know, uh, you stop the run. You got to make them try to make them one dimensional and then put everything all on Brady. Um, so definitely to run. That's Taylor, it's Miles Simmons. Um, is that even more important in terms of stopping the run just based on what you guys faced um, last week? And I, I know you weren't here last year, but how do you try to prevent more rushing touchdowns? Because that has been a problem you know, for this Panthers defense for a little bit. Uh, I can't speak to what happened last year or, you know, the pass or anything like that. But, you know, I think um, when you really look at, you know, the rushing yards and how teams are getting them, uh, you want to eliminate big plays, you know, 10 plus yard, uh, you know, pickups and everything of that nature. I think last week, you know, it was about like three to four, 3.5 something yards per rush. And, you know, that's not going to really beat you, you know, on a uh, down by down basis throughout a whole game. But, you know, every time you, you know, you lose an edge or you, they pick up the big gains is where you really um, what are concerned about. So as long as we continue, you know, we get better on our edges and everything, getting off blocks, using our hands, things like that. And, you know, taking the air out of, you know, the ball and gang tackling. Uh, I think, you know, we definitely uh, accomplished stopping the run. Great to hear in regards to your shirt. I think there's like 25 owls involved in this game, whether it be coaches and players. Did you ever think you'd have that many owls in the NFL on one field? And what have you guys talked about? Uh, no, man. Uh, just thinking back from when I was at Temple, I would have never thought that we had this many guys in the in the league, you know, either from a player's perspective uh, standpoint and or coaching standpoint. But it's definitely a sight to see. It just goes to show, you know, how far, you know, the program has come and, you know, the, just the, the hard work and dedication of the guys that's been through there, you know, like the grit that the, uh, we all have and, you know, uh, been to get to this point and some, you know, doing it for a while now. To hear what have what do you see from Tom Brady on tape from this one game, uh, and then if you face him in the past, kind of compared to what you saw from him in those games. Uh, just um, the comfort aspect, you know. Uh, I think you can you can tell they're still working out some kinks as a whole. You know, you know, as a you know, a lot of people across the league with you know new staffs, new new schemes, and things of that nature. Um, you can tell, you, you know, he he is who he is. You know, he he's seen a lot of football. He's seen probably every damn pressure that you can uh, throw at him. You know, all of the coverages and everything like that. So, you can pretty much. Um, you know, you can be, you can, you know, he's going to be in tune with what, you know, what's going on on our end. So we definitely have to make sure we make it as hard as possible and not allow him to just read our mail. But in the first game, it just looks like they're working out some kinks. You know, they had to get away from the running game a little early. Um, obviously, you know, they went down uh, early and then had to throw the ball around, you know, a bit. But I think they definitely want to uh, be um, balanced. I would say. To, to hear what's your, how, how can you take advantage of, of that kind of as he's feeling out his teammates? Like, like, is there a way that, cause he knew what his, what every new England Patriot teammate was doing in the past. So, so how can you maybe take advantage of some of that discomfort to, uh, Sunday? You can't allow, can't allow them to get comfortable this game, you know, like, okay, you know, yeah, working out some kinks and at some point you want to get comfortable, but it's like, shit, not this week, you know, uh, maybe next. So you just get, you just got to keep applying pressure, you know, in, in whatever form that is, you know, whether it's just, you know, everybody just doing their job and, you know, whatever it is, you know, everybody just have to do their job on our end um, because, you know, on there, we know that they're thinking the same thing about us. You know, it's, it was last week was the first time we took the field together. Oh, they didn't play a clean game. Oh, you know, this was an issue. That was an issue. You know, so obviously we have things that we need to clean up, but um, we need to make sure that we get our stuff in order and then whatever problems they're, they're having, you know, uh, make sure that they continue to have them and not let, get them fixed in this week. Hey, your husband, how do you start to generate turnovers? 
One more time. As a defense, how do you start to generate turnovers? I think it's just uh, just being consistent, really. You know, uh, I think last week uh, one thing that stuck out on film to me is that we flew around to the ball. Um, obviously, you know, we can uh, be better with our hands and uh, just stay active and everything like that. But on defense, you create turn tur turnovers when you get more hats to the ball. You know, you get – more guys are uh, hacking at the ball. You know, you get tip balls uh, from the uh, defensive line and uh, then the defensive back or the back end, you know, we're able to, you know, pick it off and things like that. But as far as the force fumbles and things like that, the more you're swarming to the ball, you're getting more of, you know, def more defenders around the ball. When that ball pops out, your chances of, you know, recovering the ball goes up. So, you know, although, you know, we didn't give a, uh, get a turnover in this first game, as long as we continue to play hard the way we are and clean up some of the details, I think they'll start to uh, come and they, when it rains, it pours. Hey, Jay here. This is Stephen Toronto of the Riot Report. Going off of what Miles was asking, Tom Brady has thrown a pick six in three consecutive games. And meanwhile, it's been a pretty long time since the Panthers had a pick six at their own. How much of an emphasis is there on scoring on defense? And uh, how satisfying would it be to... Uh, intercept a pass from Brady and take it to the house, considering all that he's done in his career? You know, um, leading up to the game, obviously, you know, uh, you have all these names for time, you know, the GOAT, you know, you look at how many Super Bowls he's won, he how successful he's been, in, you know, throughout his career and in the league. You know, you get hype about that. But at the end of the day, you know, you really just have to, uh, ignore all of that and you know the, because it can be a distraction because you feel like you got to do something more than what you really need to so you know it really was it just comes down to us doing our job and that's you know simple you know sometimes people struggle with just accepting the simple uh, things and it's really that simple you know it's just all 11 guys on defense doing their job and when you get an opportunity to pick it off you know or strip sack them and you know recover it or anything like that you take advantage of it you know you can't get too uh worked up on oh man you know this is tom brady and you know i gotta i gotta pick him off and you know because then you start doing your own thing and then that's when he'll find the holes in the defense because you you know you're guessing and or you think you got to beat on what he's gonna uh, what he's gonna do so uh, as long as we, you know, every man, you know, he's in this gap and every we're, we're all where we need to be in coverage, uh, the opportunity is going to come and then we just have to take advantage of it. Here, we, have time for, we have time for two more questions before we flip, so here go. On the topic of Brady to here, do you have any good stories about having faced him uh, over the years, good, bad, funny, uh, otherwise? Uh, one thing I can say, uh, let me see. When I was in uh, Detroit, faced him out in uh, Gillette Stadium, and you know everybody knows. You know, when at the home, you're at home. Home teams on offense, you be quiet. You know, I think he had a good uh, hold on the fans, and you know, making sure that they uh, <laughs> they were quiet when he was on the field. So you know he's because he's listening to every single last thing you're talking about on defense. So. You know, you, you would give certain checks, so he'll come up, he'll give a check, and then you were talking on defense, and then it's just like he, he's looking at you, and then he's shaking his head and smiling like, yeah, I, kn I, kn I know what that call is, you know, and then he'll put them in the right check, and then, you know, and then it's a completion, and it was just a big play or, you know, just a screen or whatever because he knew it was a pressure. Um, so I'll say, like, to transition to this year, with no crowd noise and everything of that nature, like where we are right now, it's essentially going to be the same. So we got to make sure that, you know, we're trying to make it as hard as possible on them, you know, in that sense of, you know, he's trying to listen to every single thing we're talking about because as the game is going on, you know, he that helps him perform better. So, you know, that's, I'll say, you know, he's always, you know, as much as he's controlling the offense and stuff, He's listening to what the defense is doing as well. Like, you know, same thing with guys like Aaron Rodgers and things like that, you know, that's been around a while. You know, you think, oh, you could try to trick them, but, you know, like they've heard it all before. So how do you stay quiet in an empty stadium? <laughs> We're still trying to figure it out. <laughs> all right. Okay. 
Guys, Jonathan, you can finish it off. His last question. Yeah, Ty, what is it like to have that that type of chess match uh, with the quarterback? Uh, it's fun, man. You know, because it's like you know someone like him that's played a lot of ball, and you know he's done it at a high level for a long time. So you're just like. You know, you you either going to fold under pressure or you step step up to the opportunity and you're embracing it. I'm looking forward to it. You know, it's been a few years since I had a chance to play against them. And I know uh, on defense, you know, uh, even some of the young guys, you know, we just excited for the opportunity. It's another opportunity as yeah, a divisional opponent. And on top of that, man, shit, we want to, we trying to get in the win column. Um, so with all that being said, you know, you can talk about Brady and everything, but it really falls back on us, man. I'm looking forward to the opportunity, but I'm, I'm more so looking to uh, the opportunity to get back on the field and correct our mistakes and, you know, get uh, a win in the win column.